Are you looking for a free open source alternative to Notion? Let's discover AppFlowy, an AI-powered workspace for notes, tasks, and collaboration. It offers all the core features you'd expect from Notion, like projects, tasks, pages, and even built-in AI, with one major advantage, it's fully self-hosted. That means you can confidently use it for sensitive or critical data without relying on proprietary platforms like Notion. To start using AppFlowy, you can use their free cloud version up to two members and five gigabyte of storage, or to get unlimited storage, use the pro version up to $10 a month per user. To get unlimited access for free and privacy, you can self the Deploy it by following the self hosting AppFlowy guide from their documentation. For an even simpler installation process, you can use a platform like ours, Elestio, to deploy it seamlessly on your server or the cloud provider of your choice. We handle the installation, backups, updates, and ongoing maintenance, so you can focus on building and scaling your project without any hassle. To start using AppFlowy on our platform, head to ls.io and click on the login button. Then deploy my first service in the search bar, type AppFlowy and then select. You have the choice between different cloud providers. The last option is if you already have a server. I would choose Hetzner, then adjust your cloud region, Europe, North America or Asia. I will stick to Europe and adjust your service plan based on your needs. Then press the next button. From here, you can adjust more advanced settings, choose between different levels of support. And once you are ready, hit create service. Once the installation is finished, you will receive this email, including instructions on what to do. First of all, we will use the desktop version. To do it, we need to download it from the AppFlowy releases page. It will lead you to their GitHub repository in the release section. And from there, if you scroll down, you can have access to the different installer for the desktop versions. For me, I'm using a Mac OS M1, so I need the RM64. Download it, then open it and follow the instruction process. Drag and drop AppFlowy to your applications on the Mac. Then open AppFlowy and you will arrive on this screen. From there, follow the instructions from the email you received. Open settings. It's this button on the bottom, settings. Choose AppFlowy Cloud Self Hosted and input the following URL. This is the URL of your instance. Self Hosted is here, either Cloud or Cloud Self Hosted. We want the Self Hosted version. And paste our base URL here and then save. Perfect, now we can log in using our credentials. So Alessio will create them for us directly. So we can follow the click here to get the password link. From there, you will see your user email and your password that you can copy to your clipboard. The email corresponds to the one of your LSTO account. I will type my email and continue. It's saying that it will send me a magic link. Perfect, I received it. I can follow it by login and I allow it to open. And voila, I'm correctly connected to AppFlowy. Once you arrive, you have a nice onboarding with a page telling you how to get started, either with the desktop desktop guide, which is what we are using right now. And if you are using the mobile or the web versions, you also have separate guides for them. You can open the to-do list for the quick start, and it's showing you a nice Kanban, including what you have done. You created an AppFlowy cloud account. Then you should be doing love AppFlowy and open source. Let's say it's done and follow them on Twitter, try out AI chat and install AppFlowy mobile. All right, as we are together, we won't follow the getting started guide and I will show you the different features of this software. Let's create a new page. If you do it with this button, it will create an empty page. You can rename it my first page. I had a cover image. By default, it will pick a random image or you can change it. You can also add an icon to the page, exactly like you would on Notion. And then the same shortcuts with slash. And you can add a title. So we already have the main heading, let's say subheading. You can type some text and you have different type of elements you can add to your page. A simple checkbox, do X, do Y, do Z, or more advanced components, the one with data. You can do slash and then you scroll down and you have Kanban. And you have, like you had in the to-dos page here, a Kanban with data. 
if the checkbox for do x y z is not enough you can here have do x do y and do z and then drag and drop them and for each of them you can open it extend it and it acts like a real page so you can do slash and have the same settings same components to create the data for your page like it is in notion when you create data like this using a kanban you have different type of view you can switch between the canvas which is a board or a grid to have a more table like approach let's say we want a property a file so the type of the data will be files and media then if you drag and drop a file or click and add file or link here you can drag and drop the file or browse i can add a lestio icon choose and you will have a nice preview of it you can add more files let's say i drag and drop a receipt here then you will see it in the list of files and it won't try to render a thumbnail but you can still visualize it you can add different properties let's say the cost of the task this one it will be a number let's say it's 500 250 100 and on the bottom of the column you can use calculate either count the number of elements or the sum and you will have the total cost for the three tasks you can also have a calendar view if you switch new calendar so for now we don't see anything because we don't have dates if we go back to the grid it automatically created a date column let's assign different date over the months and now if we go back to calendar we see the tasks assigned at the right position and if you drag and drop them then it will update the date accordingly very useful if you don't want to create your pages from scratch you have a list of templates on the bottom left templates it redirects you to AppFlowy website and from here you can choose between different templates organized in different categories once you find a template you like you can open it and you have a nice preview of its structure unfortunately if you want to use this template it only works on the AppFlowy cloud version not on the self-hosted but still you can copy them by browsing them and see how it works and how it's organized back to AppFlowy if you are looking for something you can use the search function for example my first and it will show me my first page and you can open it on the left you can organize your data the way you want here we are in the general space the one created by default inside you can nest item inside each other let's say we want to have to do inside getting started and then it's one page from the getting started and in my first page we can add other page with different type either a document grid board calendar or ai chat we will see it later but as we have seen, when we created my first page, it was a document and we've been able inside to add some grid board calendar data. The last option is import and you can choose text and markdown and CSV. The great news is that you can import data from AppFlowy, but also from Notion. So they have a guide to explain you how to do it, exporting your content from Notion to import it inside AppFlowy. This way, if you like it, you can have a smooth transition and don't need to recreate everything. Let's say in the general, this is the work related to the whole team, but maybe you have things that only you need have access to for your business work purpose. The things that don't need to be shared with the team. For that, inside your workspace, click on it and create a new space. You can name it, let's say organizer, it's something only for you. You can choose a different icon, choose its color, and you decide if you want it to be public or in our case, if it's only for us, private and create. Now we switch you to this private space, still in the main workspace. Let's name it, hello, my private tasks if you want to adjust the settings of your space you can manage space with this button and adjust it but let's say here this workspace is dedicated to work so we have the general link to the team and the organizer but if you want to have something for your private life you don't want it to be connected to the work related workspace on the top you can create a new workspace let's name it wawa private life 
OK, and this time you are in an entirely new workspace. You can adjust its settings from here in the workspace. This one is good, we just created it. But if we go back to my workspace, we can edit it. And let's say this one is related to work, it's related to Elestio. You can either have the text written for the icon or choose between different icons. Adjust the color for this specific workspace. And let's say during work, I want the dark mode. And you can go one step further by choosing a theme, which will affect the main colors of it, making the experience more lovely. Because it is work related, you want to have other team members in having access to that. So you can use the invite button here in the members section. And last but not least, you can add AI to your AppFlowy desktop version. What is great is that for the self-hosted version, you can use local AI, which means you can simply install Olama and get the benefits of using AI without sending critical data over network or any third parties. Simply follow the guide to install AppFlowy and install Olama. I have followed the different steps to have Olama running locally. Once done, you will also need to install another app on your desktop named AppFlowy Local AI. Once you have followed the different steps, check this button here. It is saying Local AI is loading. This may take a few seconds depending on your device. Once good, Local AI is running and it should auto configure itself. Once you're good, click Apply. We can go back to our workspace and create an AI chat. For the AI chat feature, you have an interface like on ChatGPT and you can talk to it directly how to use Kanban to manage tasks, generating a response. And it's typing the answer using 100% local AI. Kanban is a visual system for managing work and so on. Then you even have some suggestion to continue the conversation with the AI. Another great thing you can do with AI is if you go to one of your page, on the bottom, you should create content with slash. You also have ask AI anything or continue writing. Let's try the continue writing. It looks like you're setting up a to-do list in AppFlowy. Here's an extension of your content. And it's writing me things. I can choose to rewrite it if I'm not happy with what it generated, discard it or to keep it and it will write it for us. Or if you want something more specific, you can use slash ask AI anything, generate a paragraph with sample guidelines to fill this document, enter. Here is a sample paragraph with guidelines and it's writing it for us. We can keep it. Excellent. We now have a 100% self-hosted notion like application using self-hosted AI, keeping your data safe. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering AppFlowy with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, watch this video available here.